guys this is Asis and you are watching ASP media in this video we will talk about HTML blocks and inline HTML classes HTML ID HTML button HTML iframes so let's start with HTML blocks and inline so block level elements always starts on a new line and takes up the full width available it stretches out to the left and right as far as as it can the div element is often used as a container for HTML elements and the div element is a block level element. So here the div element is defined in such a way starting angle bracket and div and closing angle bracket and hello world it is the closing tag slash div. In the same way the inline elements and inline elements does not starts on a single line and it only takes up as much width as necessary span element is an inline container used to mark up a part of a text or part of a document and this is a span element inside a paragraph so the span element is used inside a paragraph but the div is the container element so span is defined is the starting angle bracket and span then closing and hello world then slash span just see an example create a new file blog.html title give block elements here you create a div element it is the block level element div then inside div you can add paragraph so p this header my name you can add css property here style Add style equal to background color dodged blue is its color opacity. Add padding left, padding from all side, just add padding 15 pixel. Let's save it. Move to the directory where you have saved log.html. Open. So here you see this is the div element, it is the container element. And inside the inside this div element we have used the paragraph so paragraph we have used here padding is 15 pixel from all the sides so in this way the div element you can use and moving to the span this span is used inside the paragraph part so just type here suppose you want to change this uh, text color of this hey span is the inline element it should be written in inline so type span and this is the closing give property span style span style give color type color fire brick font size give 18 pixel so save it move to browser if I see so here you see the inline element here hey we have used span and this hey is now visible in red color so in this way the in inline you can use with using this pen you can change the color and add styles to inline elements inline paragraph elements now the next part is html classes and id the class attribute is often used to point to a class name in a style sheet which is the css style sheet and it can also be used by javascript <laughs> to access and manipulate elements with specific specific class name so the class name in style sheets must be created with a dot it is dot example if you want to create a style this class name as student so you need to start with dot student and in the html file you can call as call this class as div element we have read in the previous section that is it is the block level element div and inside this you use the class attribute class equal to there's student class you have made so this you just insert it here student and this is the text inside written text written inside this div element in this way you can use classes in the html and now move to the id attributes the html id attribute specifies an unique id for an html element so the html id you used in this uh, in html it must be different from the reserved HTML that is the previously defined HTMLs. It should not overwrite. It should not overwrite. It should. The name should be different. The value of the ID attribute must be unique with the HTML documents. 
ID in the style sheets must be created starting with hash. Example, suppose you want to create my list ID, so create uh, write hash, then my list, and in HTML file you can call this as div element ID, then ID equal to my list. So just take an example, type title classes, type style class. So give comment a class. Just type dot dot student curly bracket then font size type font size 18 pixel type color forest green background color gains pro then type padding Twenty-five pixel. Just save it. Now here you need to write here div, and inside div just call write class and call that class as student. Here type student name is Jacob. Just save it. Move to a directory where you have saved and just open the classes.html. So here you see this is the div element and this is the student name is Jacob. So here you, we have used this classes. Yeah, we have used the CSS properties in that class CS student class. Uh, in this way, creating class, you can use this CSS styles, CSS properties to the HTML. And this makes uh, your task to make very easy. So you can create ID. Move to VS Code. Type here. Give a comment here. Yes. ID. Then type here. Hashtag. Type here. Header. HTML. So header HTML. Just give padding. Padding left 10%, then from padding right, give 10 picks 10%, give background color Dodger blue, set color to white. Now, whenever you write this div command and inside div just call id equal to header html this is header element save it move to browser refresh so you can see this is header element and we have used using this id using id a padding left 10% then here padding right 10% then some CSS properties so this can be more modified Let's type padding 15 pixel refresh so this way we can create HTML ID HTML and classes now next move to HTML buttons so HTML button text defines a clickable clickable buttons so inside a button element you can put text add tags like i this italics strong to make strong elements strong text break to break the line images insert images etc so this is not possible with a button created with input elements so button should be created using the button tags button and type 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 of course this should be button so suppose you want to write a text on the button so write inside inside the button tag Suppose here it is written click me, then closing button tag. So linking with buttons, we have learned already linking the pages. So the same concept used here is button type, button, then href, it is the linking page. So what page you want to link here, just type the URL or the linking page source file. So here href equal to URL, then it is the click me is the text should be written inside the button tag 
then it is the closing buttons so we'll just take an example type button now inside the button type equal to button and write text here is suppose write download see refresh it so here you see the button now created with a text called download this is the html iframes so an html iframes is used to display a web page within a web page so suppose you have made a page suppose normal page and you want to insert an html page within that source html page so you can use it with html iframes html iframes tags specifies an inline frame starts with angle bracket iframe then source that is a src equal to url this is the specified url then title is equal to description then iframe you can set height width so iframe src normal html file source file then you can create add styles here height height suppose 200 pixel then 300 pixel width so in this way you can create iframes so suppose you want to remove the border of the iframe so just write a style property style and property border border is to none so this css property using this css property border none so this remove you can easily remove the border so just see once suppose i want to insert a page within this classes.html page type iframe iframe then source file src type here styles images.html images.html then add style style give a height height suppose i am giving 600 pixel then width same 600 pixel just refresh it move to browser classes refresh so now you can see this is the classes.html file and this classes.html inside this you can see a new html page that is the images.html that we created in the previous videos so here it is this portion is 600 pixel then this 600 pixel height width is the images.html and here you see a border of 1px 1px border is now visible so this makes some odd look so just remove it using this style property border to none just move to browser so now you see the border is removed so here you see it looks like you have added some style property within this html page but what we have done we have just imported this html imported this html page within this class.html so in this way different html pages can be imported to a single page making different html pages it makes easier for us to Add different styles and just easily combine all in this video we came to know about what are the HTML blocks and inlines HTML classes ID button iframes thank you thank you for watching us